Today I'm going to show you how you can turn your little homegrown or store-bought chilies into a long-lasting powder. Guys, welcome back to Green Thumbs Garden and another video. My name's Alex and if this is your first time here and you love gardening videos, ornamental plant care and DIY, then make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you don't miss a single thing. So what you're gonna need is some chilies, obviously, whatever chili you prefer. I'm using habaneros, it's one of my favorite types of chilies. It's got a fantastic heat and it's very flavorsome, very fruity, very tasty chili. So we'll be using habaneros to make our habanero chili powder. You'll need a knife, nice little sharp knife and a coffee bean grinder. I'll put some links in the description where you can pick up one of these electronic coffee grinders. They're quite economical, shouldn't cost you more than $20, 15 quid, something like that. Really handy little tool to have. So let's start preparing our chilies for powdering. So make sure all your little green bits are off. We don't want that in our powder. Take it all off like that. Then what you want to do is slice your chilies in half and then half again. Make sure that once you finish this little job, you give your hands a really good wash with soap and don't rub your nose or your eyes, otherwise they're going to be burning for hours. You could wear some gloves if you want, but um, I generally don't bother. I just make sure that I wash my hands. This is quite a big one, so we'll give him an extra slice. We want as much air to get to these chilies as possible so we can dry it out in the open so the sun can do most of our drying job. Make sure your chilies are facing up so the insides are exposed that way they'll evaporate a lot quicker. So now we want to take this and put it out in the sun to dry. We in August here in Spain at the minute, it's really hot right now. Can you hear that annoying little sound? Sounds like my microphones are really bad. If you might have noticed in the last video, they're cicadas and they normally come out, well, they always come out at this time of year when it's really hot. I hate that noise. It just accentuates how hot it is right now. So these chilies, they'll dry up really quick here. A couple of days at most, these will probably be ready for blending. Obviously, it's going to be different for the different locations where you live. If you're struggling to get your chilies dry, because they need to be crispy dry. When you squash that chili, it needs to be cracking with crispiness. To achieve that, you can use your oven. Come, I'll show you. So we've got our chilies in the oven here at 60 degrees. That's just enough to dry them out without ruining the flavor, the taste. It'll just crispen them up if you're finding that you're just not getting it dry enough because they need to be really crispy that they should break into bits. Look, we're nearly there. You see how it's just crumbling when I break it? That's how you want it. You want it as crumbly as possible. Let's give this maybe half an hour more and then we'll make our powder. So that's how you know when it's ready. It's making that noise when you crack it. And it just breaks up into tiny little bits, look, when you crack it. That's going to make a really nice fine powder. So make sure you now you bung this into your coffee grinder. Lock the lid in place. Give it a tap down. There, we should be done. Get a jar ready somewhere you can put your chilli powder. 
and a piece of paper what we're going to use as a funnel. Make sure you put a mask on because as soon as we open this coffee grinder little chilly molecules are going to be released into the air and I tell you what this stuff makes you cough. Look at that, man that looks beautiful. Oh man what a smell this is giving off now. Oh man, when you try and make some of this and if you're using habanero as well you let me know what you think of that smell. Oh look at that eh? Does that look fantastic or what? Oh man, that just smells fantastic and it's such an awesome way to spice up your meal when it's in a powder form because you get a nice even distribution of chilli. And the thing is, once you've powdered your chilli like this, it can last for years. I've got chilli powder I made two years ago. Oh, it doesn't smell as good as this though now, this is fresh, but it's still good. It's still got a beautiful heat to it. but. Man, that, that smells fantastic. Let's have a little taste. Oh, that's some good stuff, man. Some really good stuff. Let me know what are some of your favorite chilies to grow. For me, it's got to be habanero in the top spot. I just can't get over how awesome this smells. And Scotch bonnet, really love that chilli as well. And devil's tongue, devil's tongue is a lovely yellow chilli. Very unusual smell to it, quite pungent. I used to have quite a lot, but it's all gone now. Really love to add this powder into soups. You can put it on anything just to spice it up and give it some flavour. Let me know if you've got any awesome little recipes as well, what you'd like to share with the community, any sauces that we can use or make out of chilies or the chili powder. Let me know what you prefer to use it with. As always, it's been a pleasure, guys. Let me know how you get on. Leave a like, share this video with your friends if you think they'll find it useful, and I'll see you next time.